Hello, and welcome to this Open Dental webinar. Today, I'm going to be walking you through the process of how to handle and process outstanding claims within Open Dental after converting from another practice management software. How we handle outstanding insurance claims in the conversion process depends on what you choose to do with your AR. If you choose to zero out the AR in the conversion, we will not need to handle any of the AR or process any of the outstanding claims within Open Dental. However, you will need to process payments for all of that old AR and handle and receive the claims in the EOBs for those outstanding insurance claims in your previous practice management software. Simultaneously, for any new AR, any new claims, that will need to be processed and handled within Open Dental. So, if you choose to zero out the AR, you might have multiple ledger ledgers for your patients until you are able to zero out the AR in your old practice management software. This can be a lot of work, especially if you don't have uh, dedicated resources for cleaning up the conversion. The alternative to this would be to convert your AR, um, and that would move all of that money over from your previous practice, man practice management software to Open Dental. It would move all of that AR. However, it would not move things like the outstanding claims. Uh, we are unable to convert insurance estimates, so the insurance claims themselves do not get converted. We will need to recreate any outstanding insurance claims, medical claims, pre-authorizations, any of those will need to be recreated within Open Dental, and you will have to process all of the old AR within Open Dental as well. This will allow you to maintain one ledger within Open Dental, but it will also require some uh, work to revert the account ledgers to look at as they did in your previous software. There are some conversions, some practice management softwares that we convert from where we are able to convert the primary insurance claims, specifically Dentrix and Easy Dental. However, even with these, these softwares, we do still need to recreate secondary, tertiary, medical claims, and pre-authorizations. Once you have recreated all of your claims within Open Dental, and once you have verified the insurance benefits for your insurance plans within Open Dental, you can then go ahead and start billing your patients normally. But this process and the insurance verification process will need to be done before you can start sending statements in bulk to your patients. Now let's talk about the process of actually recreating the outstanding insurance claims. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to run the outstanding claims report within your previous practice, man practice management software at the time of the final conversion. When we collect the data for the final conversion, go ahead and run that outstanding claims report. That way you know what needs to be recreated. Again, if you are converting from Dentrix or Easy Dental, you can exclude primary insurance claims from that report, but you will still need to run the report for secondary tertiary medical claims and pre-authorizations. Again, if you finalize as many of your claims in your previous practice management software as possible, you will reduce the workload in recreating these claims. And with that in mind, there are two different strategies to actually cleaning up the claims. The first strategy is the one that I would recommend, and that would be going through and just recreating all of your claims at once, just making sure that it's done patient by patient. Now, the downside to this is that it takes a while. Um, you're looking at potentially hours, if not several days worth of work. The upside to it is it allows you to bill and function more normally right away, especially if you've already finished your insurance verification as well. If once you've got both of those things done, the outstanding claims recreated and your insurance benefits verified, we can start sending out our statements more normally. We can start running our reports more normally at this time. Now, for some offices, that's just not an option. Um, it, it can be, as stated, a lot of work. Uh, and some offices just don't have the resources or just have too many outstanding insurance claims to be able to make sure those are all created before you go live. So the other option, instead of recreating everything at once, would be to only recreate the outstanding insurance claims as you're receiving payment, as you're receiving the EOBs for those claims. Now, this is not recommended, but in some instances it might be necessary. The problem with it is that even though it allows you to spread out the work 
and receive things piecemeal rather than be overwhelmed with every in single and outstanding claim in your office at one time, it does prevent you from billing in bulk and it prevents you from running some of your insurance reports. Uh, it's gonna prevent some of the, uh, that information from being accurate. So you won't be able to function as normally until you're able to actually finalize all of those outstanding claims, which for some carriers might take several months. Now, let's actually talk about the process of recreating a claim. The first thing that we want to do when recreating a claim is we'll pick the first name in the list that we're, from your report that you ran in your previous software that we want to recreate. We now need to select that patient within Open Dental. And in order to do so, we're going to come into the main toolbar here within Open Dental. And specifically, we're going to hit the Select Patient button right here. That is going to open up the select patient window, and then I'm gonna make sure that I have searched and highlighted here on the left-hand side the name of the person that I am trying to recreate the outstanding claim for. With their name highlighted, I can then go ahead and hit the OK button, and we can see that Laura's name is populating at, in the top of Open Dental, and I, that is how I know that's the patient I currently have selected. With Laura selected like this, I can now come into the account module, and I can go ahead and look for the data service that I'm trying to recreate the claim for. Now, for Laura here, I am trying to recreate the claim for this 620 data service, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have both of the procedures that I'm trying to recreate this claim for highlighted. All of the procedures that are highlighted will be attached to this claim. So I want to make sure I've only got the procedures that I want to be attached to this claim highlighted and then I have all of them highlighted. Now before I go through the process of actually recreating the claim, I want to point out on these individual line items that we can see how much the patient has paid towards each of these procedures. And I can see what the estimated patient portion on each of these procedures are. Now. The estimated patient portion for both of these procedures is the full fee of the procedures. And the reason for that is we don't convert insurance estimates on completed procedures. So that's why I need to recreate the outstanding claim so that the patient portion reflects properly and we have those insurance and write-off estimates attached to these procedures. So I'm gonna, again, highlight the two procedures. And with them highlighted, I'm gonna come up to the new claim button right here. I'm gonna click that button and it's going to open the edit claim window. I can see I have both of the procedures attached to this claim and I can now see the insurance estimates and the write-off estimates for these procedures. Now, there are a couple of things that we need to do in this window before we save this claim. The first thing that we wanna do is change the claim status. This claim is not waiting to be sent, this claim has been sent. So I'm gonna change it from waiting to send to sent verified. Now, I do not need to send this claim again. It was sent in your previous software, so there is no need to come down and hit the send button. That will send it to your clearinghouse, and they will most likely reject it because it's a duplicate. The thing that does need to be done, along with changing the status of the claim to send verified, is we need to make sure that the date sent matches the date that it was originally sent in the previous software. Um, you should be able to find that information from your outstanding claims report, and we'll just go ahead and make sure that that date matches, like so. Now, with the claim status updated and the date sent updated, I am okay to go ahead and hit the OK button and save this claim. Now, there's a couple of things I want to point out about this. First of all, you'll notice that there are actually two claims created. There is a primary claim, and a, that sent status just as I had entered it. And then there is a secondary claim in a hold until primary received status. We, this is how dual coverage functions within Open Dental. If this patient has dual coverage and we go to hit the new claim button, it is going to automatically create the primary claim and the secondary claim in a hold until primary received status for us, just like this. If this patient were to have tertiary insurance or medical insurance, you would need to still come highlight those procedures and hit this little drop down arrow here and hit the medical button to make a medical claim or the other button to pull up 
a list of all of their insurance plans. We can highlight the third or tertiary plan, indicate the relationship to subscriber, and then hit the OK button to go ahead and attach that tertiary um, plan to this third insurance plan. The other thing I want to point out is now that we have those claims recreated, we have attached the insurance estimates to these individual procedures. So now we can see that we're, insurance is estimated to pay $94.75 on this procedure, and we're estimated to write off $129 on this procedure. This actually results in the patient having overpaid this procedure. So one thing that we always want to do after we have recreated the outstanding insurance claims for a, the entire family is we want to run an income transfer to make sure that we don't have any overpayments resulting in those claims. So I am going to come to the payment button up here. And I'm going to hit this little drop down arrow. And I'm going to come to the income transfer option here. All I need to do in this window is hit the transfer button. The income transfer manager is going to create an income transfer that removes overpayments from procedures and make sure everything is properly allocated based off of first in, first out. So when I close out of here, now we can see the patient portion that is attached to this procedure is only how much they owed. We've actually moved that overpayment from the composite to the endodontic therapy here. It is also advised to run income transfers after you have finalized the insurance payment for your claims. And if you're, in, if you're curious to know the process for finalizing, finalizing insurance payments, we will make sure to leave the, uh, the documentation on that process in a link in the, in the description for you. Now, this is the process for recreating an outstanding insurance claim. Now, if you need to recreate an insurance preauthorization, that is not done here in the account module. That is actually done in the treatment plan module. The treatment plan module is going to show you all of the treatment planned procedures for this patient, procedures that have been charted but not completed. You're going to want to highlight the individual procedures that you're creating the preauthorization for, just as you did in the account module for the actual claim. And with those procedures highlighted, you're going to come up into the treatment plan module toolbar and hit the preauthorization button. It's going to ask us which insurance plan we are sending this preauthorization to. I'm going to indicate that this is the primary claim, primary plan, and, in, and then I just need to indicate the relationship to subscriber, which I'm, is Laura. So with these two options selected, I will hit OK. And then from here, the process is exactly the same. We again need to change the claim status to sent. We need to update the date of the preauthorization to having been sent on the same day that it was in your previous software. And then once you're done, again, you just hit OK to save that. You will, once you have recreated your uh, preauthorization, you will be able to see it here in the preauthorizations section of the treatment plan module. And if you need to access it, you can just double click into that line item to reopen it and then finalize it as needed. This process will need to be repeated for all of the outstanding insurance claims and preauthorizations from your previous practice management software. Again, it's best to have a plan on how to handle your outstanding claims before the conversion. This is going to go hand in hand with the decision on what to do with your AR, whether you're pro processing those outstanding claims in your previous software or within Open Dental. But even if you do convert the AR, you have the decision of, am I going to try to recreate all of my claims at once, or am I going to be forced to do it piecemeal as I receive them? Um, again, we recommend doing them all at once if possible, but uh, it's a decision that you should come to before the conversion. And again, if you, can, if you finalize as many of your claims before the conversion as possible, you are limiting the amount of work you have to do after the conversion. Once you have gone through and recreated all of your outstanding insurance claims, we can, will now be able to focus on verifying all of the plan benefits for your insurance plans and then billing out your patients in bulk. It is advised that you maintain access to your previous practice management software, regardless of whether you convert your AR or not. With access to your previous software, you will be able to continue to verify information uh, that is converted over and make sure that we've converted that information properly. You'll also be able to continue to run reports from, your, from the days prior to the date of conversion. Um, the reporting for information prior to the date of conversion within Open Dental can be 
inaccurate, so it's good at least until you guys have, have ran all of the yearly reports you need to prior to the date of conversion to maintain access to your previous practice management software. If you have any further questions about how to recreate outstanding insurance claims, please do not hesitate to give our main support line a call. Um, otherwise, this has been the webinar on how to recreate outstanding insurance claims. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And make sure you're staying up to date with our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.